Hello everybody, Hunter back with some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We continue off the main story. We ended last video, we just got a key card from the Nibelheim Reactor, so we now can go into Shinra Manor. I believe this is the moment we're finally getting ready to meet Vincent, I think, I believe. Everything's kind of out of order at the moment in this past chapter, so... We'll see what Square's set up for us. While in open spaces, hold R2 while moving to have Kate Sif row. What material do we have on Kate Sif before sending him into battle? Let's see. Not a lot. We haven't got many slots, have we? Fire! Raise, that's good. Thunder. That's fine. What do we have to do to max out his megaphone? Deal damage, greater, smaller, perhaps. Just get a fortune. Cool, okay. Fortune telling. You really need to start using him. I'm guessing that's what this chapter's for, is to kind of force you into playing Kate Sif. No need to wear yourself out. Not Let's take a little break. Whoa! He's not going to join in like Cloud did then. Careful out there. Beans have started coming down off the mountain. Yeah, we're not going to the mountain, we're going to the manor. So this is basically a sprint. Anything new in the vending machine? Savaganda? Free mech potions on sale. Yeah, those, anything else, anything we don't own? Nope, okay. Are we on heels? We are good. <laughs> This is going to be one of those weird chapters, right? Anything around before we enter? Any goodies hidden about? We can go all the way back here, really? Ooh. No, we can't. Don't see anything. Nothing tucked away. Just like the flashback, they had nothing hidden for us around the manor. Okay, let's go in. wonder if we allowed upstairs now. They pulled out all the stops decorating this place. Definitely seen better days. Still blocked off. What's a few cracks between friends? It's almost 50 years old. This can't just be a fancy house. I'm gonna go out on a limb and agree with you there. The village is practically drowning in a sea of black robes after all. So what if it is? Well, it would add weight to the rumor that Bojo used to conduct experiments here. <laughs> no chests, nothing. It's just a rumor. Right, let's go down to the lab. Is the doorway going to be unlocked now? Can we see Vincent? This is something I never expected we were going to get. Where we were forced to going to be in control in the main story of Kate Sif. Totally unexpected. Huh. This a kid's clubhouse. Oh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. But nay bother, I'll protect you. Uh... Hello and welcome to Shinra Manor. <laughs> Hold your. I don't know what it is you hope to find here, but I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Everything of value is gone, but please feel free to poke around. Ah! It's not him! It's just an AI caretaker! That said, this facility has always had a place in my heart. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> Just like Don Corneo, he got a hat. Please don't send us to sewers. Oh, that was a sore one. <laughs> <laughs> don't walk into the light, Barrett. <clears throat> That's it, Ed. 
is gonna get it. Chest. Ooh, weapon chest. I think we're trapped in here. I see a pressure plate like there. Rats in the cage. No squeezing through those bars. Huh? That duck, however, might just fit a cat. Sit tight. I'll have you out in a jiffy. He must get that purple box. When control can say press R2 while in front of an air deck to have him roll through it. Okay. So you can't just walk through, you gotta uh, roll through. Whoa, whoa. Alright. That's a long way to roll. There's so many grenades. Huh. <laughs> We have a cess on you. Here we go. I'll make mention of you. Try out this ability. Play nicely now. When faced with a switch, place to high for Kate Sith. Reach an object. Okay. Press up so Mugo can materialize. Press L2 to lift the place box. Touchpad? Touchpad to throw? Press R3 to toggle it into an out. Uh, this is weird. Can't go that way yet. Oh, you need a box to destroy that box up here. Plenty of stuff in there. So I'm guessing that's on the pressure plate? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to grab it. Let's see, how do we toggle Elfie? Oh, this is weird. Another new weapon? Oh god. We've got like six of them. He's so slow as the mug. This is weird though. The controls are throwing. Why can't we just throw with R2? Problem solving to me, eh? You're in safe paws now. Yeah. Um, that's where we came out of. Are we going this way? That's the bit of the chest. Where are we going? Over here? Yeah, over here. Um. That's right, we need one of these. But whatever's hiding in that box up there. I can't see. <laughs> it's so weird. This is by far the worst thing in this game so far. Alright, I gotta switch between it. So, um, L3 to switch. I'm just gonna guess I'll throw a. Can't see. I want to throw a box. I'll feed the switch. So I'll point that up. Oh, so why is it not throwing? It's so, so, such a dumb mini game. Yeah, I'm gonna leave our box. Okay then. 
and scan the ears. Oh, oh, right. You got this! You can do it! Leave it to me! Well, he couldn't because they died too quick. Smash all the boxes. Oh, the camera's chittering like crazy then. Error detected. Service suspended. So near and yet so far. Try throwing box. Oh, we got a box at the pipe. Why can't Barrett shoot it? Um, let's see. So, Alfie touchpad. Oh, this is dumb. This is dumb. You can't push any further than that. Um. Oh, you can control it with this. Not even close. Maybe I gotta be down there to throw it. <laughs> Any other boxes around? Let's see if it's gotta be thrown from down here. Feels like it. Um. This is stupid. <laughs> I'm just throwing a box for no damn reason. This bar could shoot this pipe. Look, you can't push it back anymore. You gotta hold the top, and you can't push it back there. Now, any more, the more it is. Adjust strength, so up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why couldn't they? Why couldn't they just do L two to aim, R two to throw? Is taking away everything that's brilliant about this game because this is one of my this well is my favorite game but this part of the game super dumb. Um, let's see, hold it. Just angle, yeah. You can't reach it. Um, let's see. It's not even getting close. How close do I have to get to this dang pipe? Oh, you can't sprint to him, thank God. Get a few of them out.
What do I have to do to get closer? If I look down here, like, let's see, touchpad mode. This is so stupid. I wish you it was a skip option. Wait, what? I destroyed the box and had gravity in it. I can't like just adjust the height of it. Oh my god, I dropped it again. The controls are so dumb. What have I been on? 15 minutes on a mini game like this. And I bet there's more dumb stuff like this we gotta do. This is stupid. We can bring it in, but we can't push it back out anymore. Actually, I think I might figure something out. Let's see, if I drop the box here. Um, go to it. Can we jump over this? If we can jump over there and grab the other boxes, we could be able to get a hula closer, right? Yeah. Why are you bumping into this left? No, you can't. Ah, oh, I thought I thought I've thought I figured it out. This is definitely the right spot. But the line doesn't quite get it. Finally! That was dumb. That was one dumb game. I never want to do that again, but we will on our multiple playthroughs. Are we on heels? We're good. See, so boxes here, the way there, staircase up there. Oh, we do need to pick up more boxes. That's the doorway we came through. What do we need to throw stuff at, I wonder? No, that's the doorway we came through. Okay, so this will drop boxes. Yeah. Um, I don't see a switch, but I do see a hole we can crawl through. Anything else? Nope, okay. Monsters. You're gonna regret this! That's mastered, we can switch that out. Oh, this one doesn't have any materia. What does it do? Moogle Kaboom. Turn your Moogle into a ticking time bomb that explodes when it leaves combat. 
Why would I want that? Well, you can't put any material on it. It's lame. Oh, well, we're gonna do it. Let's see, what can we put on you? Increases luck. Okay. I don't like the fact that we can't put any material on it. We got a Cestal on, okay. What to interact with in here, I wonder. So we got another platform where we drop boxes, right? Talk about a hard landing. Hmm. Hey, chest. I still can't believe we completed that first um, thing, just breaking the pipe. Man, I thought we were going to stuck, be stuck on that for an hour. Oh, I see. The boxes will land softly on you. Now, I think it goes go out a little bit more. There we go. Right, there's that, but what do we throw it at? Maybe that up there? Oh, don't drop it! I'm still figuring this stuff out. Oh my god, Mog, you big butt. I can't see where I'm throwing it at. It is so badly designed. Let's see if I can... Uh, oh, I can't. I'm gonna see if I can change the zoom out to my character. Um, set the camera distance outside the battle. The higher the number, the further away the camera will be. Let's see if that works. It didn't. <laughs> it so didn't. Yep, it definitely didn't help whatsoever. Let's get some of these in, because I may be failing a few times. Thank you. Don't mention it. All in a day's work. Oh. Rewards. He's getting rewarded for those horrible mini games. Well, I say mini game. Every other mini game's been brilliant. This is bonkers. Let's see what we got. We scanned all this, okay? Six of our back to the back. More boxes. Oh, pumpkin heads is in this? Oh, it says the pumpkin again. Anything. I need Mog. Yeah. Ooh, material. Yeah. Uh, 
Huh? So we got drop boxes for there. Right? For what? Power right, we gotta throw them. We gotta throw them in the red thing, so here we go, more stuff. Oh, I missed! Because I didn't actually press square. There's so many buttons. Did we throw it in? About to find out. Yeah. Muscle levels increasing. Additional accelerants required to meet operational standard. Ah! I did it again. I didn't press squid to throw it. L2 to aim, R1 to toggle the aim, square to throw. But I keep thinking it's R1. This R1. You need to go over R1 and it's going to throw it. I'm learning. Again, I will master this dumb minigame. There we go. I had to find another switch in. Thank God. It's such a memorable part of the game going to the basement to Shinra Manor the second time. But this, with Kate Sif, wow. What was Square thinking? I think they just really wanted to force players to play some gameplay as Kate Sif, which I have done anyway. Switch out this weapon again now. Let's see, Kate Sif, red megaphone, switch to resounding megaphone on Moogle Mine. Use the Moogle to scatter landmines that explode upon um, impact. Is it? Explode upon enemy contact. Molly increases stagger. Alright. Let's put on some bitties. Moogle decoy, no. Moogle sentinel. Okay, yeah, yeah. Altruistic recovery increases HP recovery. Alright. Increases HP recovered by 25% when received healing. Physical guard, let's do that. Any goodies? Almost got 90. Yep, yeah, we have. We got 99 meg potions. Damn. Okay, one on sale, we'll get it. Right, let's recover everybody's MP and HP, and then we'll go into the next room. If this bench is here, it's probably a boss in the next room. Let's have a look. So we've got a platform that drops boxes, right? 
Oh, I see. This thing is red over here. So let's see, where's the switch to? Not sure. Well, let's go for the next room. Didn't even need to throw a box at that thing. Where are we? There's old stuff scattered. Have I gone backwards? I have. Destroyed boxes, I've gone backwards. Okay, that makes sense why I could interact with the elevator. And no mini game. Good to know. Next room. I cannot wait to hear Matt Mercer as uh, Vincent. I cannot wait. I think we're coming up surely. We're in the basement unless Hojo does something incredibly mean. Right, this way. Insufficient power. Ah, damn it, more boxes. I'm starting to so understand it. Oh, it's not so bad. We've only got four boxes at that switch. Please commence on -site inspection. According to this, that generator's somewhere upstairs. Well, nothing else for it. Back into the air ducts I go. Are you sure you'll be okay? Positive. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't have too much fun without me. Hey, ducks. All right. Cycling duck. Yeah. So you got to fight by himself now. This is new building, Moogle Mine. There's a round of applause. Got so many boxes. Must destroy boxes. Imagine if I needed every single one of these. Here we go. Payback for making me toss you so much. Right, let's have a look around. So that leads back down. No, that one leads down, this one leads up. So let's go in. Oh, wait! Really? The adjudicator? Wow, these guys. Yourself. This one's a 
starting to understand this gameplay more. Closer to leveling up our weapon, we use the ability a lot. Wow, well, when you caught away, I guess they gotta fall into the mines, haven't they? Destroy the boxes. Also, we need a healer. We took a lot of damage. See, so we need to go up this way, but it's caged off. Got to get the thing open first. Um, I think I know where I gotta throw it. Let's get that. Do we just throw it down at the same one, don't we? Because there's nothing up here. Actually, no, that goes down. That one goes up. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's horrible. the weapon ability. Yeah, fire on you. Yeah. Open that chest we've been looking at for so long. Hades Amulet. Amulet. Hades Amulet. Let's see what this is going to be good for. Materia. Don't see it. Gar that's all the garments. There it is. Wow! Look at all the slots it gives you. A terrible armlet created for conjure of the behest of Conqueror. Okay. These are a lot of material slots. Ooh, let's see. Aerith's already got a lot. Um, let's see. For you? Yep, definitely going on cloud. So, next thing again, healing. Let's use some more high potions. We stacked on them. 
could use an ether as well. Did I buy any ethers? Because I know I used up a lot. That goes down. Elevator in service. Commence transfer of cargo onto loading bay to proceed. <sighs> right then. Wait, well. a few boxes ought to do the trick. Now, let's see. Right, we gotta push the way. They really thought about how they want us to use this guy. Yeah. Down I go. Two, three. Look how slow it makes us move. <laughs> Aww. At least I finally figured out how to use this thing at the start, damn. Okay, we need to go further back. I say I figured out how to use it and I won't do it now like I did the first one. Hmm. I stood by the computer last time, right? There we go. You little bugger! Went over it. I landed in it and bounced out of it. <laughs> this game, man. This game. Well, more like this chapter. And it's all to hype up. You know who? I really. Here we go. Right there. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in. You little bugger. You little bugger. <laughs> I wonder if everybody else has struggled as much as I have with boxes. This is the boxes payback for us destroying them all. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a whole side quest on boxes. In uh, like getting payback, this beating us up. That one stayed up there. Error. Insufficient weight for elevator operation. Yeah. Additional cargo required. Yeah, we get it. Here we go again. I am definitely gonna look up and see how many people have had this issue with this and how many people have actually enjoyed it. One more should do it. Weight insufficient for operation. Additional cargo required. I can just imagine Hojo laughing behind the monitor as we're just throwing boxes around. <laughs> Definitely got easier as the elevator got lower. Cargo weight confirmed. Transfer of cargo from loading bay to proceed. Yay! So another thing that drops boxes, right? Hmm. There, got it. Huh? Eh? What now? Oh, this guy? He's a boss now? This is gonna be tough. They were tough in the normal game. The original. Stay back! I'm warning you! Comes pressure when either head is incapacitated, but the remaining head will go berserk. Goodness! Come on! Your 
fancy new ability. Did we put a new weapon on? I guess we didn't. Let's put a uh, fire on then. There we go, he didn't die anyway. I don't know what happened. Did he just uh, blow himself uh, up? Never again. Uh, you okay? He didn't want us to use our limit, so he <laughs> commits suicide, I guess. All the better for a wee lie down. Yeah. So then, onwards and upwards? I don't know how he died. He still had half his health left. Right, back to healing. Right, let's see if we did put a new megaphone on him. We didn't. Huh. Wonder why I didn't. Alright, so next one. Use an equipped summons ability. What? Use an equipped summons ability. Can only use while riding Moogle. Really? What summon do I have on you? Alexander. Cool. Very cool. in here yeah we good we good it's been the most bizarre chapter yet this service has been bonkers the best moment of this chapter so far for me was the water tower moment to be that was in the last video for safety inspection please wait God. God. Oh, you got time out, haven't you? Yeah. No one here. Wait, what? This broke on it! This is bull. And it pushed it. Well, I did nothing. I landed in between them. This game sucks. <laughs> I'll, I'll master this in the next playthrough for sure. I destroyed seven out of ten boxes. There's another boss fight. Oh, oh my! Is this what I think it is? Is this meant to be the safe that's normally upstairs in the manor? Meaning, is there a monster hidden inside you after we finally oh, figure out the code? Load. What is it this time? You'll require the password. Yeah. Huh? We gotta go Don't looking you. round for the numbers, no, counting no, no the legs of <laughs> the legs of chairs. Yeah. How many books are on the well. floor? How many dumb apples there are? That like kind of thing. you do. Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. I wrote them down in this very room, but where? 
Well then, no time to waste. You wrote them down in this room. <laughs> so we don't have to go counting heads or legs or cheers. Aha! Is he sleeping? Open the box! Giga potion. No number being. Oh, wait, this is free. So 36 is the first number. 36, 10, 59. Thirty-six, ten, fifty-nine, ninety-seven. Thirty-six, ten, It's 59 in there. And then 97. Come oh, on, I got a first try. Does look like the original zone. Go on, Inflict enough physical damage will make it resistant to physical attacks, while magic will make it. Okay. Marjorie, I'll get the gimmick. Over 
run down, eh? Use your gang for me. built for this kind of thing. Excellent work dispatching that scene. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. All well-earned praise aside, since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again, exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> we best get going. The one the time he agrees of violence. Any vending machines or anything around? Yeah, in this room. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's heal up. I'm guessing now that we defeated Hojo, we should be close to reuniting with the main party. I'm a clean cloud. <laughs> see what we got. Everybody's on 10. Okay, let's get, keep holding on to them until we get to about 25. Yep. Yeah. There's a wall there. No, no elevator talk? I think. Oh, did we master that weapon? Let's see. Oh, we only got a little tiny bit of progress on it because we called Alexander at once. <laughs> yeah, like do that. Well, well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. 
Hey there. Missed you. So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense chewing on past mistakes. Uh, right. The music. Okay. We gotta have Kate Sif in the party. Lame. Um. Sup Barrett out. Don't do we sup Barrett out? Can cannot currently change. <laughs> okay. Can't change the party. I wanted Edith in the party. Okay, so that's why we fell down. There he is! Okay, I'm gonna shush. Pardon me? Core's a bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. <laughs> Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm hmm. Card. Hmm? The authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki, explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it, but there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting a foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? Sephiroth. A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. Sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess. Wonder if there's any um, Lucrezia loan you suffer off some mum. Any thing you held on to? 
There's a lot, there's a whole lot in here. I'm sure people can zoom into these pages. See if it actually is anything. But no. Not even a photo of her. <laughs> Matt Miss is doing a great job. He's snoring. So Kate says still a leader. Huh. So the door opened up, what door was that? Oh that's where we came down. This door. Oh this room. Cloud's about to have some flashbacks, I think. There she is! Cloud, my boy! Still got that keycard. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? Spot of recon? Wow. Oh, everybody seems pleased. Can I talk to her if? Oh, I can't talk, but she's praying. It's the room. Sephiroth did all the research on the ancients. Cloud ain't remembering anything. You can't interact with nothing. Damn it. See what's in here. You're good on heels. Oh, you're good. Is this the room with the pods? to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah! <laughs> Don't hurt me! Please! I can explain! Drop it. <laughs> Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. Wait, what? Is it turning into a weird cat dog thing from Dirge? Oh god. Yep. They are the dirt stuff. Get down, freak. Come on. Woo! Okay, that was just right. He is huge. Oh 
god. You mind? Alright! Watch and learn! Everybody I switch to, he targets. Okay, I'll do it with Cloud. Take the lead. <laughs> Inflicting enough damage will pressure him, making him flinch during in a turmoil or chaotic compulsion will make him easier to pressure him, okay? <laughs> Actually, spells. Try quick on him. Alexander, you're taking a full space, dude. Is he an infinity zen thing? Oh, mind. get out to the wall! <laughs> we'll save that. Ability is... Let's see, uh, focus shot. Let's go point blank. Right, let's do the synergy. Enjoy Where's my cure? Where is my cure? There is. story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? <laughs> That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end?
That'll be your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet, come on. Space Cadet, maybe hinting at some Rocket Town stuff there. Man, that was brilliant. They're so perfect. Can't believe we're saying goodbye already, Vincent. Think there might be top secret material hidden somewhere here? Uh, that all you ever think about? Well, excuse me for trying to be helpful. No manner. Well, we was anyway. We blow it. Could I interact with somebody? Then? Oh, it's the elevator door. I thought one of the characters had an interaction. Ah. Okay. Next stop, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for you. Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof! Well, it ain't like it could go down. <clears throat> oh. oh, it's on. Uh, so, <laughs> where is it? Hi, about that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now, if you really wanted. <clears throat> But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta. Once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. So, return to Gold Source. Does that mean we go in to do the Loveless play soon? Ooh. Let's heal up. I, I'm so happy that I, I'm so happy we don't have to play Kid Sif though. Damn, we're done with that chapter. Thank God. It was all building up the height for Vincent because you know it's all going to be so amazing. So they What's they this? punish you with boxes. Going on, Wait, Roche. Sorry, I'm so late to the party, my friend. There's so much going on right now. Claws, his hair as well as white in there. He's the great end. I'm not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. Another fight. Boss after boss. Oh, 
Oh, this is sad. My desire to I don't want to fight him. Driven me on. <laughs> That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So oh. let's cut it one last time. So mean. He's mine. Off because you got some new moves on you. Flicking damage after you perform special attacks to pressure him. Is that it? Well, I went for a while. God, we've lost him. Black materia. Dream on, that materia is mine. There's no escaping the degradation. That won't happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah. That's it, a ferocious story. I think I don't know if you're ever gonna see him again. Back in Zack's world? She's not with Marlene, it's not with Zach's world, is it? Is it? It's not, no. Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. 
Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. This is what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us, Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saruf? The invisible man? <sighs> Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. Pity about Saruf would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir.
So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the saucer? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kixef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well... You see... Look! Smoke! Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. <sighs> and here comes Charlie with all the side stuff. Cloud! I'm picking up proto-relic energy signals from a group of robed individuals. You are? Indeed, though I'm unable to ascertain why. So, check it out? How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. Alright everybody, I will we'll be ending the video here for now. We'll continue on. Wow, look all that stuff I got to interact with. We'll continue on from here in the next video, where we'll be getting ready to set out to the gold saucer, it looks like. Maybe. We'll see what our um, Sid has to offer, I believe, when we go over there. So, yeah. Bye, everybody. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow with the next part. So, yeah. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye.